general that outrange him as uh, the Heimer and Varus Lane. The Renekton to top also because it's Morgan. So him, him on Renekton is always going to be kind of a no-brainer. Uh, that's Soraka. I actually quite like the Soraka into the Renata, right? Like if you pick an engaged support into Renata, you're going to feel very, very sad. Soraka is actually a pick that can not be punished and skill in this lane. Great R5 usage and I don't know if this is enough to win the game uh, for Brian. I, I do think that the nameplate difference... It, it happened. One, I was I was just talking about this before. I was like, where did Hillbilly Gragas go? Oh. It was, of course, the skin that Score would play every single time. He was yeah. an absolutely fantastic jungle, so, Gragas, and Umpty has picked it. Two questions. Is uh -huh. this going to... In comes Umpty. He does have boots. All right. Let's see what they can find as Morgan is taking a lot of damage from Zayas here, but does get the stun, and Zayas should be dead. There it is. Culver Meek is going to come through, and that is first blood to the Lord's Renekton. Get some revenge. Again, Zayas, who was playing the early lane very, very well. Great gank from Umti sets up his top laner for success. There is no teleport for Zayas, so he will be able to, at the very least, catch the crap. Does mean that the top laner RT1 is going to be pretty substantially behind now. Most of his lanes are doing well. All right, well, there is Karis being delivered to Faker here. Ona gets himself the stun. Karis tries to get out, but it's not going to work. T1 bite back. Very clean. Clean shuffle at the ready. Uh, Karis flashes, but owner has his still available. And as a result, early kill picked up for Faker. His as efforts coming over, putting down vision. Faker just walking through the silence field, not too worried about it. But Faker may have overextended. There is the flash. He gives him the thumbs up as the Empress Divide comes in. Can he get the bailout? The answer is no. As Karis, he's going to get tagged, and that is going to be it. Zayas picks up the other one as well with the glacial prison, and Faker knew. I think he knew. Gave him the thumbs up. He's like, I'm the bait. My team's going to come and kill you. And then we'll take the Herald. I yeah, don't think Faker had to die there, but uh, yeah, maybe he's proving a point. Atlas. Yep, still, still gave him the thumbs up. But that's, that's what really did my head in. <laughs> uh, and the immediate response is the pickup. And yeah, uh, there is a lot invested in making sure Faker dies. The rest of T1 uh, promptly arrives and says, thank you. Now we can murder you. Uh, and proceed to do so. Uh, Guma does not have his ultimate available, did get a kill there, but hasn't been able to spend that money just yet, just ran straight. The Predator is now off cooldown. All right, let's go. Oh, T1 knows. Can you line it up? Is Owner's the on question. Way. Gets the stun, there's the body slam, max range, easy peasy, umpty, locks it down. And yeah, owner's on his way, but he's uh, going to see yeah, the piggy bank has been shattered, the coins removed. And this plan of shutting Zayus down is successful. You can, okay. No, 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 And honestly, uh, bro fandom has nothing to do with winning, as we know. <laughs> as, all right. Very good point. Baker is going to try and usher Shelly towards the turret. Does manage to lock down these two plates. That was very close, though, from bro. Nicely done, or at least nicely attempted. It's not quite enough. Karis clears out these minions. A parting shock blast as well, as all right, Bloodthirster is done here for Henna, uh, here on this bottom side. Certainly good news. Shield bow uh, for Gumiushi in the same sort of fashion. Oh, look at his vision control here. Doubt on too much, and that is two plates, probably three, to go down here. Just yeah, another couple were... of autos, and there's another wave that is going to turn up, and wow, that uh, that lead only expanding as... Oh, that was a bit odd. That's nice Going on there as, oh, yep. Morgan, going to get permanently frosted. And now Owner's going to move in. Culver Meek is decent as the wish comes through, but it's not enough. Heartbreaker and uh, Owner is now going to help move towards this turret alongside Zayas. Zayas finally getting himself out of somewhat danger up here in the top lane. Umti and Karis looking for a play on Faker here. All right, there's the barrel. Faker in trouble, and Karis locks down the kill. Very nicely played, I swear. This game, if Umpty's not there, nothing's happening for Bro. But Umpty's making things happen on this map. That's Actually, why they're even. Ha he's having an awesome game, right? 100% kill participation. This is vintage Breon and vintage Umpty. This is when this team has looked its best. In splits previous, this is how it looked. He's making plays. He's stacking that Dark Seal. Uh, gets another kill on Faker. And it's what's keeping Bro in the game. It definitely is looking real good. 
Ticking up to 15 minutes now. Chains of Corruption come down here towards this bottom side as Hannah avoids the majority of Okumu. She's throwing at him, but not going to be able to That's avoid that. He goes good. again. Game is, uh, okay, uh, Faker. Empress Divide comes in as Morgan is just going to die. And now Umpty is going to have to run away from the Pigeon Man with the Sand Soldiers. Barrel comes in. Can Faker actually find the remainder of the damage? He's going to look for it as there he goes. Sweeping Sands comes in. Conqueror is in. Oh, oh, the Comet! Just barely not enough. He'll take a drink and he'll take his leave. But they got in here. They yeah. got in here in 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as a, the oh, so he starts up the play and then Faker. Oh, in the meantime, Hannah is uh, going to get a little bit upset. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but uh, the tower is now dead and so um, is Hannah. So hostile takeover, I think, yeah, was the problem. So they pushed mid and then Breon thought they could defend and then uh, T1 pressed their ultimate buttons and then Hannah died because he didn't have cleanse because he had to cleanse earlier when the first bot lane turret was pushed down, but you know, before the second bot lane turret was pushed down, after which now the mid lane turret is also pushed down, after which they get Drake. And T T1's ability, uh, and this is something that they do better than obviously any other team in the LCK, like tempo swings and, and getting one objective and turning it into more is just, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of nuts to as oh, we have a trap. trap has been set hostile takeover immediately going to be used but umpty's going to avoid it chains of corruption come in morgan is on the flank and they just leave carrier karis wants to pick up the kill the bailout is not going to do anything here henna wants to participate it's not going to work out as it's two Shut kills down. now for bro and zayas he's on some sort of flank not sure what he's going to be able to get done here is faker now down to 50 percent and i think the t1 gonna have to back away from this one Really big moment here for Breon. Keeps them in this game. Gets them additional golds, allows them to get a few shutdowns. Zayas is not afraid of anyone. The Ignite goes down, he gets the wish out of F. This is one versus four. <laughs> He's just going in. He's just going in. He's just doing some things. Fake is going to walk up now. He's like, all right, all right, Zayas, let's see what you're doing oh, yeah, here. Yeah, 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 you just want to fight. We're going to shove mid. We're gonna siege your mid turret. Why is it? Bio either. Oh, Carrier pokes his head out and immediately gets jumped on. There's a hostile takeover. He's still alive. Somehow. Yeah, but he can't join the fight. He's way too low. Might have to give this one up, T1. See whether they do. As now Faker, he's gonna go out the back of the pit. Zayas moves up to the front. But now Henna with red and white guns, he's dangerous. And okay, the arrow's not going to be enough, but of course this isn't Lethality Varus, so they lose the dragon. T1, can you actually do any more is the question, as Carrier is just trying to drink whatever potions he has left. Doesn't actually have any remaining. I know, he's the a crocodile. Lord's Renekton. Oh, okay, that's bad. Yeah. I thought that, that, I'll allow that. The Lord's Renekton is a late game threat. <laughs> uh, always has been, always will be. As Chains of Corruption come in, as I may have cursed him, because the Emperor's Divide is going to cut him in half. There we go, that's the first kill for the team fighters. Immediately, what? Where did Henna go? Umpty is now looking to try and grab Faker, but it's not going to work out. And T1, they just wiped the floor with them. Karras and Effort, the last men standing in the Baron, not going to be up for much longer. Atlas, a man with mythical power, <laughs> as he hasn't finished his sentence, or T1 find a great hard engage on Breon. Going to turn that into a dragon immediately. Zeus and Faker making sure that no one is going to get anything out of this. Flashes are full. Oh, and uh, Henna doesn't have his flash, so the stun's going to come in. And uh, he's just, yeah, Henna's real dead. Does manage to get a Moonlight Vigil off uh, beforehand. But there was Bailout. Uh, there was a lot of reasons why T1 were never in any danger there. Now with the Baron, they're going to look to push down some more of these toads. As the super. And it gets taken down here by the cask. But the, the next line of minions is already there. Zeus is split pushing by himself. And we see a little bit of a, you know, of a, of a flat surface there in that gold graph. And then trend upwards. And that, that might well be the end of the game. Hit me. Uh, the Baron is being pushed forward. This inhibitor is not long for the world. That will be the first to go down. Did anyone get anything else, though? It's kind of the question here. They've got a line of vision that they can follow to get themselves out of here. Yeah, uh, he's making he's making sure that they can't actually contest. He might take it. He'll take an Nexus turret. Yeah, yeah, like, that's happening. Because there's no one here. Um, Karis is going to turn up. But there's an Nexus turret. Shifting Sands gets him out. 
And T1 can now, because they've broken them up like this, they can just take themselves the soul. Uh, Faker, Empress Divide, is going to deny that to the skies. Umpty, if he finds himself a body slam decently, but no, it's not going to happen. Flash over the wall, though, from Karis is going to spell the end of Faker. But they, uh, that's, that's how you get a free soul. You trade it for a pigeon, I guess, <laughs> is what he's going for next. Uh, well, first no, one? yeah, well, BBT. Yeah, because he has Rage Blade. I see Crit Cloak uh, and, B and BF Sword, and my old man brain is just like, that's Infinity Edge. But then I look at the build, I'm like, that's on hit Varus. That was a moron. Uh, as anyway, hey, Bro now going to uh, deal with these minions flooding into their top side. Of course. You, you're doing great. I'm oh, very I'll proud of you. Man. Yeah, come on. I'm keeping it positive. Yeah, it's, I don't think moron's necessarily no. a bad thing. Whoa. I'm what? what uh, <laughs> What have you ever called someone a moron and be like, oh, thanks, man, I appreciate it. I've never it. said thanks, but I've never found it, you know, too bad. An endearing moron. I'm okay with that. If that's who I am, <laughs> then I can be a happy man. Not for long. Ryushi just going to get to work on that one. Takes down the inhibitor turret. And you can see Zayas just happily playing in this front line. Dashing around every which way. The handshake does come through as Umpty is going to be able to run it out. Runs real quick as well as the Moonlight Vigil comes in. Not going to do too much, though. As Zayas is just a brick wall in the front line. The last inhibitor is going to fall. Mid lane is going to be respawning pretty soon in about 40 seconds' time. And Bro, their house is in shambles now as they try to chase T1 out of here. T1, I mean, this is a very comfortable Baron if they want to take it. But they could also just kill the last remaining turret yeah, in this game and win. Well, the, the mid inhibitor is about to respawn, so they might want to go for that. The current mid wave already doesn't have. Uh, supers on it. Could be looking for that. Would be a great opportunity for them to effectively guarantee as game is. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Karis going to be spotted immediately turning around and taking down the Jace. And now the hostile takeover comes in. Hannah is pretty dangerous though, as Carrier is going to get taken down. Empress Divide going to move Morgan away from Faker as the Glacial Prison lands in between everyone and explodes. And doesn't really. No, no, can't even get in. Yeah, uh, they do manage to take the outer turret in the mid lane. Come back. As Morgan, he's uh, going to have to Dominus deal with uh, Faker here. And Effort is just running away from Ona. This Nexus turret, not long for the world. And Faker has, he has a one-track mine. Uh, as, all right, that's a flash forward from Ona. Henna is in so much trouble. Faker will swoop in, collect that one, and move on towards <laughs> winning this game. Oh, that Nexus turret was taken down. Ona took the life of Effort and then used his... <laughs> His silence to make sure he could get on top. Oh, oh very, Hannah. Very cutely done. As there is an Empress Divide. Faker is going to die again, but it looks like he's having a very good time on the rift. The Nexus will fall moments afterwards. T1 pick up the 2 0. And it was a game with a little bit more festivities uh, than game number one, but. <laughs> a few thumbs up, um, a few one thumbs could up. say.